Leonard E. Reed in 1958 wrote a book called Our Pencil. The basis of the book was the story of the pencil. It has four parts. You've got the cedar wood, the lead, the metal, you've got rubber. The pencil in itself is so simplistic in nature. It's something that we really take for granted, but yet it's all around us every single day. It's got the ability to create, to write stories and to stir emotions and to create vision. If you had all the ingredients of this pencil sitting on a table in front of you, no one person could make it work. All four parts of those materials came from different parts of the world. And it took a collaboration of millions of people in those different parts of the world to come together to form that one piece of the material. And then those four pieces would come together. And all of these ingredients are mined and manufactured and processed at different locations around the world, but they all come together to create one spectacular, simplistic asset that we can use for whatever purpose we choose to. It's such a powerful message when you read it because it makes you realize that you need everyone to do great things. The collaboration of people is so important for us to create and for us to move forward as countries, as nations. There's a strong parallel to what we're trying to do at this club. We're trying to bring people together from different walks of life. We're trying to bring those people together into one space for one purpose, and that's to collaborate. I think the opportunity to do the Pencil Club came about while we were conceptualizing what was going to go into quite an iconic development that we are currently involved with. We have got a wonderful environment. We've got a building that's gonna be the tallest point in the city and something really needed to be done with that space. I think it's gonna become the central meeting point for business. The entire development has been built in a way that's very much driven around community. There's people yearning for that kind of meaning. They want something more than just a club. They want a meaning behind the club. We're trying to create spaces for people to interact, to network, to engage with each other, not only on the local stage, but on the international stage as well. When we were conceptualizing the spaces and what was going to be available to members, we were trying to understand each unique individual what they would want to expect from the space and what they were lacking. There's a restaurant and bar. We've created quieter library areas, stillness booths where guys can have private meetings, social working environments, meeting rooms, and added values. You know, the club was very important to have services for the busy lifestyles that we lead today. We wanted to add value to leaders, women and men that just needed help. And maybe the club then can become a support structure for them. What we want to do in the club is just hack expectations. Where can we make your life better? Where can we add value? We've got packages that are going to suit everyone and it's going to create a lot of value. Very importantly for us though is understanding when we are approaching a specific leader that's looking to change their world, that doesn't mean that they are confined to the local space. And we realized that there were a lot of clubs around the world which our members could become a part of, could have reciprocation with and will be something that we will be offering them. The difference about what we're trying to accomplish here is we're not just trying to create a space that looks good. We're trying to create something with deeper meaning that's going to connect people to each other, to the city, to the world. You've got to want to be a part of this club. You've got to want to change your world. I think that would be, I think, the essence of what the club would be. I hope it adds an immense amount of value to people's lives. We want to create a narrative that's uplifting, that's positive, that's collaborative and that encourages and inspires not only our current generation, but future generations.